the transmission in this Yanmar YT series is unique among all compact tractors. Today I'm going to take a first stab at, at diving into how you operate this tractor. I'm going to try to avoid deep technical talk in this episode. We'll probably try that in another one. In this one I'm going to focus on the controls and how they behave with this transmission because the controls are somewhat similar to the other types of transmissions but sometimes they behave differently. Let's get started. We'll start here at the left hand side of the operator. This is a forward reverse lever, uh, basically a shuttle shift, but I hate to refer to this as a shuttle transmission a little more in a minute. Um, but forward, neutral, and reverse right here. You can reach it by having your thumb up on the steering or your fingers on the steering and reach down with some of your fingers to, to do the shifting. Down here to the left we have a clutch. I've yet to find a purpose for the clutch. Over here the main lever that's relevant to our discussion today is the three speed range lever, right? We have one, two, and three. Uh, much like most hydrostatic tractors, we have three ranges here. The primary controls on the right-hand side of the operator are the throttle here, the brakes, independent brakes, and what I'm going to call the accelerator pedal uh, down here to the right, on my right foot, right toe to be able to handle that. There's a couple other controls right up here to my right that are relevant in a little bit more advanced mode, but they're not used just in the minute-to-minute -minute operation of the tractor. The other relevant controls to propulsion are the cruise control. It's just to the left of the steering wheel, right below the steering wheel here. And on the right is the auto throttle and the anti-stall. Um, I have used all of these in the first few hours of use, so they, they are relevant. There's one more throttle related control and that's a button right here. Um, I believe Kubota has this as well, but you press this button and it immediately goes full throttle as long as you hold it. The number one use I can come up with that is if you're wanting to go into a loader pile and you're wanting to have some more um, right, to, to push into a pile, uh, you can use this throttle button for that. I didn't use it the other day because I felt like the tractor had so much ump going in that it wasn't an issue. Another way you could use it is if you're wanting to raise the loader quicker to dump. Um, I suppose any number of ways, but you don't have to take your hand off of this control to reach up to the throttle. You can just do it right here for a temporary throttle adjustment. Okay, with all that, let's get started on how to actually operate the machine. I can start the machine with the 1, 2, and 3 lever over here to my left with that in gear. So I don't ever have to take that out of gear, and I don't. However, the shuttle, I'm going to call it, does have to be in neutral to start the machine. So with the shuttle in neutral, we'll give her a crank now. I've got the machine at an idle. I've got auto throttle turned on. I'm going to move it to forward. Okay. So I'm not pressing the accelerator pedal at all, but we are slightly moving forward. I didn't see anything about this in the operator's manual, but there is a like a quick start guide, and it refers to this as creeper mode. No, not that kind of creeper, come on. This is the slowest the tractor will go, and I can't detect a difference between how fast it's going if it's in B range or A range. Now again, I promise not to get into technical details of the transmission itself, but I'm not exactly sure why this it should be creeping at all. I, I think we should be stopped, but since the quick operator's guide refers to this as creeping mode, then you know obviously it's functioning as, as planned. Now, to go faster, I can push the pedal. The pedal is just that, it's an accelerator. If you have auto throttle enabled, the engine RPM will increase as you press the pedal. The auto throttle will not engage or disengage unless the shuttle is in neutral. So I'm going to move it to neutral, disengage the auto throttle. Now I'm going to show you the pedal without auto throttle. 
See, now I'm accelerating, but the engine RPM is staying consistent. Okay. Now I'm going to shift to reverse, and I can accelerate again the same way. Note there's only one pedal. Okay. Typical hydrostatic tractor has two pedals and does not have the forward reverse shuttle. Let's do a comparison then to a hydrostatic tractor. As I mentioned, we have only one pedal here. The hydrostatic has two pedals. This one has the forward reverse shuttle, which a hydrostatic tractor does not have. But once I put it in forward here and I press the pedal, it behaves just like a hydrostatic tractor. Okay, let off and it almost stops. That's the only difference. Um, okay, and if I turn on the auto throttle and then press the pedal, just like an auto throttle enabled hydrostatic tractor, the, it throttles up as you press. Simple, straightforward. Now let's compare to a shuttle shift tractor. A shuttle shift tractor does have this shuttle, but it does not have an accelerator pedal. And if it does have an accelerator pedal, it's typically there just to control the throttle. It's basically a throttle foot control. It's uh, not the double feature of throttle and propulsion speed. And on a typical shuttle shift tractor, if you shift the shuttle into to range to go, it's going to go in the whatever gear you're in, right? You've got uh, other gears, and it's going to go a different speed depending on which gear you're in. And essentially, it's, I would say, full speed at that time. There's no accelerator other than the throttle to work with. So I would tend to see this tractor as more like a hydrostatic from an operation standpoint, but not exactly like a hydrostatic, right? You have only the one pedal, and you have the shuttle lever. Christy said she found this um, pretty intuitive for her, and she finds that when she's driving a hydrostatic tractor, she ends up looking at the pedals as she moves her feet to make sure that she's actually on the alternative pedal, whereas this one, you never move your foot. You can always keep it right on that pedal. You use your hand to move the forward and reverse shuttle. Some high-end tractors that have something similar also have a forward and reverse shuttle on the joystick. I think if I was doing loader work, that would be really nice. It, with doing field work, having it on the steering wheels or just below the steering wheel is excellent. So if I had to have only one, yeah, this one on the, on the steering wheel is, is, is fine. It, it works well in that sense. So let's try the cruise control. So I'm moving along at 0.5 miles per hour right now. I'm going to turn the cruise control on. You see the flashing light right there indicating the cr cruise control is ready. Then I'm going to come right back here and I'm going to press set. At the moment that I set the cruise control, I can remove my foot from the pedal. So the cruise control is enabled at the whopping speed of 0.5 miles per hour right now. If I use the manual throttle, That raises the speed. Now I can disengage the cruise control in several different ways. One way is to shift the shuttle to neutral. Okay, now we'll go back to forward here. I'll press resume. So we're back to 0.5 miles per hour. The second way to disengage the cruise is to press both brakes at the same time. Press renew, resume again. If you press only one brake, the individual brakes work properly. It only disengages the cruise when you press both at the same time. You can see it pulling on the tractor when I'm repressing only one brake at a time. I got distracted showing you the brakes and I forgot to mention the third way that the cruise is disengaged and that's with the clutch. Now in this case I've got the manual throttle set to idle which is 940-950 RPM here. 
But when I originally set the cruise, I had the throttle set at about 1140 RPM. So when I hit the resume button, you'll hear it throttle up. So it remembers that throttle setting. Now I'm going between 0.4 and 0.5 miles per hour. Let's press the resume or the plus button and see what it does to our speed. 0.6 for one press, 0.7 or 0.8 for two presses, 0.9 to 0.1 for the third. Notice both the engine RPM and the, I'm going to call it the transmission gearing is increasing as I press the plus button. So if you'd like, you can use the plus and minus button to control the speed of your tractor just like a sticky accelerator. Behaves much like the accelerator pedal. The cruise control does not seem to work in reverse. I don't know that I care, but it doesn't work in reverse. Now that we understand the cruise control, let's check out that creeping gear. That's what we're operating right now. I'm in the A range. I do not have my foot on the throttle. Full RPM, 2530 RPM. Let's check our speed. A very consistent 0.1 mile per hour. I'm wondering, can I use my stump grinder or my brush mulcher effectively with this machine? And I believe the answer is going to be yes. Combine that with the cruise control, I can get a steady 0.1 or 0 0.2, 0 0.3. You can't do that with a shuttle shift transmission. You can't do it easily and consistently with a hydrostat, although it is possible with a hydrostat to go very, very slowly. The consistency of this is what's really unique. Now, one thing I noticed, but it's hard for me to, to totally uh, quantify for you, is the feel of the foot pedal. Um, the first, um, a little bit of engagement, you know, the first, I would say, half of the physical travel um, is much, much slower on the acceleration than the last little bit of the foot pedal. So this gives you a lot of control at, um, you know, when, you, when you're just kind of trying to, to, to slowly inch towards something. And then when you really want to go, you press all the way down and it, it really moves out on you. Okay? That's what we're seeing here. Now let's look at this uh, motion button here. This is very much like, in fact, almost identical to motion match on the deer. So it controls how uh, responsive it is when you let off the pedal. So we're all the way on the pedal. And if we let it off, that took probably 10 or 15 feet um, to stop. We'll do it again. Now we're gonna turn this all the way to rabbit. And if I can hang on, I'll demonstrate it. We'll go to full speed. And that stopped quick, okay? I've been running this all the way in turtle. This feature is not standard on a John Deere 5E, but I did get it on the 5E uh, on mine. So it was an add-on feature. Uh, it is uh, motion match, I believe, on the 3 and 4R tractors, maybe even on the 4M, I'm not sure. Um, so uh, I don't know if something equivalent is available on the other brands or not. I, I just haven't looked into it. It's not a control that you'll use every day, um, but it is a control that uh, you'll want to set once, right, to your, to your liking and to, to your behavior. And some people may actually use it a, a differently. So I typically keep this one at least to totally slow, right? That's just what works best for me. I find that the foot pedal doesn't have this um, lunging feeling when I first press it. I'm able to have very uh, minute control because I think the, of the way it's adjusted. Um, I, I just I feel really good about how the pedal works 
uh, about how uh, it, it gently accelerates. Um, some people that operate the 3R and 4R tractors, Dave specifically, he turns off the auto throttle uh, because it makes the tractor a little bit too jumpy. And combined with the delay that we see in that pedal, talk more about that in a minute, uh, it just it, it makes it feel like uh, it's not really surging, but an initial jump uh, that's disconcerting a little bit. This tractor doesn't have that. None of us here on our team have experienced any delay in this pedal at all. As I mentioned, we do see delay in the 3R tractor, and that delay often encourages you to press the pedal a little further, and then all of a sudden it takes effect and it surges forward. So far, every operator, that would be Bobby, Christy, Dave, and me on our team have praised this pedal. It's really easy to operate. Now, I'm going to leave out what is arguably the best feature of this transmission. I'm not going to talk about it in this episode because I don't know how to fully describe it without going into some of the technical details of how the transmission is implemented. Um, maybe I could, but I think it's a more technical topic and I'm just going to leave it. And that is the AB. There is a switch here that we can have essentially two different speeds uh, and it's totally shift on the go. Uh, very, very nice feature, but I don't think I'm going to go into that in any more detail than what I've just said here. Um, in this episode. I'll try to do a later episode on the technical uh, approach to the transmission. A lot of you are probably thinking that was an integral part and how could I possibly do this episode without going into some technical detail, but I really felt like for those that are less technical or maybe don't even care about the internal details, they just wanted to see how this tractor operates. People talk about it having a different transmission. Well, what does that mean? How does it actually operate? And hopefully we've seen that. I would refer to the operation as very similar to a hydrostatic transmission, only it's got a hand lever for forward and reverse instead of two separate pedals. I hope you found that interesting. Um, this is a challenge I was wanting to take on. This is the main reason I wanted to show this tractor was to really go into some detail on this transmission. So if you feel that you're still wanting, um, as far as information goes, don't be surprised. I think I've got a lot more to say about it. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. That's where you wanted to be, wasn't it? Just couldn't figure out how to get up there. <laughs>